a former secretary to the state government, uh, up to the sec I beg your pardon, a former secretary to the government of the Federation, Baba Chair Lowell, has stated that the Northern Christians are in support of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Lowell, who was speaking at an interview, said Obi had more chances of winning the election than the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu. Asked why he chose to endorse the Labour Party presidential candidates, the APC chieftain said a government by the duo of Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed would give Nigeria its desired peace. The Estiwaju campaign team in the southeast has faltered and dismissed the former secretary to the Federation, Mr. Baba Chelao, from Adamo State for insinuating that the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, will not get votes from southeastern Nigeria. The campaign team said that Baba Chair would have been no further from hallucination when he opined that the southeast was a no-go area for Tinubu and requested the ex-SGF to go back and watch the tremendous support of the zone in Tinubu's visits just uh, to just two states of the zone when the full campaign period has not even commenced. Well, joining us to discuss this is Ola Dotun Hassan. He is the global president, Yoruba Council Worldwide. Thank you so much for joining us, Dotun. It was a pleasure to be here. So going to what Baba Chair Lawal has said, now we've seen, I think you and I have had a conversation in this direction when um, the former speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakub Dogara, started, um, you know, um, this campaign against the Muslim Muslim ticket, saying that um, this does not necessarily sit well uh, for those who are uh, Christians in the north. Now, again, Baba Chalawal is coming out to say that northern Christians are endorsing the Labour Party candidates as opposed to his own party candidate. Uh, let's hear your thoughts on this matter. Well, let's get it clearly. Uh, the the Northern Christian is just one um, group of uh, persons that have interest from the religious point of view, in view of the fact that there was a Muslim Muslim ticket that uh, Ashwajibola Ahmed Tunubu chose uh, the person of um, Chesima uh, Kashim as his vice presidential candidate. And that led to one or two issues from some members that are of Christian faith within the APC. So. To many uh, of the entire Christian faith, that is a different, uh, we must separate it from the entire uh, Christian faith in the whole nation. These are just Christian members of the APC. And that does not mean they did not uh, appreciate Ashwa Dibolak Maitunabu. They've shown tremendous support uh, from, the, from, the, from the outset. So um, considering the issue that has been raised by Babache Lawal, uh, to me, I've defended... Uh, Ashura Jibola Akbar Tunubu presidential candidate, not on the premise of uh, religious animosity, but on the premise of uh, capacity, competence, and experience. So what we are looking at today is an issue of self-emotion, self-inflicted pains, and uh, how best can we pacify uh, the aggrieved. And I believe uh, Babache Lawal is, uh, is one of uh, the aggrieved uh, persons. So, there is no harm in somebody being um, being expressive of his uh, opinion or emotions. But okay. when it now gets to the level of hatred, um, pessimistic uh, views, and also uh, penchant um, um, uh, 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 mod sliding, so we cannot be able to get the actual truth from that opinion. And that is what has um, uh, bedeviled the, the opinion of... Um, uh, Mr. Babachella, that is the former SDF of the Federation. So okay. to many, even to the camp he so belonged to, that is the APC Christian um, uh, Association, uh, denied him in whole. So it shows that um, it's just within his own um, um, volition, he's acting on his self-wage. Okay. So we wouldn't want to um, make him feel so lonely. That is why I'm appealing that uh, he should rethink those statements he had, um, uh, he chose to put in the media by granting a personal endorsement of uh, Peter B as the candidate of his own um, his own personal group okay. or his own person as Babache Lawa. Uh, so that is just how that we can describe that. But to many Christians, uh, we, we are a lot of Christians are reviewing their thought on the premise of one equitable balancing between the not and the South, and also looking at who best can 
drive us, especially at this critical point in time. Okay, and let, no let, 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 let me, let me quickly come in there. Let me quickly come in there. You started off by saying that this was purely political um, and... and um, no, it's emotional. It's and em political, well, well emotional. you said it was politically motivated and not necessarily about religion. But I just want to quote Baba Chelawa, just because he's not here, so let's give him that benefit of the doubt. Now, he said when he was asked why he decided to go in the, the way of the Labour Party, I'd like to quote him directly, he said, we're politicians and we're realists. Uh, we want to support our, a, a political party that has the potential to win and rule uh, then address all other dynamics in society like marginalization, insecurity, and inclusiveness. He also went on to say that there are still some Christians who are hanging around the APC, and of course, whatever their reason, we don't begrudge them, he said. Uh, some are in the PDP, the, but he said the average Christian rank and file in the North, they are for the Labour Party. Now, according to Lawal, he says chances were that the election would go to a runoff rather than win directly from the ballot what are your thoughts well well let me say uh in in, in election um, um um politicking globally there is no amount of um how much um um opinion or how you foresee or the possibility rule most times politicians any politician that is going into any political contest always sees himself as a winner until he loses so but the fact that the political machinations and every other thing at this point in time uh, is all about winning for Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tunumbu. And Babache Lawal, so unfortunate that uh, Babache Lawal has benefited from the milk only of Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tunumbu than any other Northern Christian. He predicated his. Uh, is so um, is uh, uh, has, has, is, so, is I'm political. So, sorry. so you're saying is, when you say the milk and honey of of Bolamed Tinubu, are you saying that he had paid? Yes, you, and he had put money. He had pumped As money the to Bolamed Tinubu. Well, do, so are you saying that Bola Tinubu gave him that position that he was not? No. So, if, no, so what no, exactly no, do you no, mean by the milk and honey it, of uh, Bolamed Tinubu? Please explain to me. In, in politics, there are virtues that you can benefit as a result of your commitment okay. to that political venture okay. in winning that political position. And when they are not choosing some specific positions that are of utmost importance to national development, they look at the spread, um, um, the, the personality, and it's most predicated on interest. And that is the key um, uh, virtue of politics, that Who's is the interest? game of interest. Who's so interest? The interest. Well, I no, interest I'm, I'm only or... trying to guide your opinion and the and our viewers that Babachu Lawal should not be uh, should not be coming from this angle. Is coming because if it's coming why, from that why angle, he be coming it will from be seen this angle. I'm sorry, Doctor. I have to. Be, yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to probe you. Why can't he? I mean, everybody has one vote. We know this. No, and if listen, hold on, just hold on, hold on. Let me ask. Let me just let me ask the question. If you're saying that he shouldn't be coming from this position, he has a position. He's a person. He has one vote. If he thinks, and he, if he has other people who also think in this regard, why shouldn't he? Is it because he was bred and buttered by Bola Ahmed Tinubu? No, no, no. Let us look at the moral value of our of our views here. Yeah? Okay. I'm not saying I'm, 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 uh, the fact that I'm, I'm looking ahead to seeing Bola Tunumbu as our president come um, 2023 after the 25th election of February. I still believe that there are some certain individuals who have benefited from the benevolence, the, polit the political benevolence of Ashwaji Bola Akmer Tunumbu in ensuring that the benefit of that merger, uh, uh, um, when they are sharing all the legis of uh, stakes for Babache Lawa to earn from the Christian faith from Adamawa State shows how much more is value and the key interest stakeholders appreciated him. And I show you like sincerely. I know how much I'm talking about. He's a close ally of Ashwajibola like Mentunabu. He cannot deny that fact. But the fact that he's not the vice president or he opined to be one or he's denying never to be one, it shows political uh, uh, vendetta here. Because when somebody is aggrieved, he can say anything and he can throw you off 
on the rail line, and that's what is happening. I've, so I've, I've, I, I know that, I know that you're not Baba Chelao because I was I was almost impressed to upon to ask you what political vendetta you think he has. But then let's move away from yes, that. You, so, you, let's you move know, away from that. Yeah. Let's let's dwell with some on some of um, some factual things now. Um, when Mr. Baba Chelao was probed as to why he thought that there will be a runoff for the election, he gave us some statistics. He said that. In his thinking, he thinks that Bola Tinubu will not get up to 25% in Kebi State, in Sakoto, in Zamfara, Kanu, Yobe, maybe 25% in Borno. Um, but he said, no house of Fulani State. It goes nowhere. Um, he said, Bola Med Tinubu's ticket has antagonized the Christians, so he's going to lose. He said he will get the well. Southwest because of his affinity, and it's our ton syndrome. But then he says... Atiku will clear the most of the northern states. Now, I'm going to ask you a direct question. Do you think that the Muslim-Muslim ticket will not cost the APC some states? Well, even without or with or the, or the, the Muslim-Muslim ticket, as a candidate, where you win, you win. Where you lose, you lose. I've run election and I've had a personal experiences. So for the fact that um, the base of what we are looking at now is on the premise of uh, Baba Chela while uh, preempting a, a runoff election. Yes, INEC themselves is preparing for a rerun election. Should there be any as a matter of um, 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 uh, statutory principle? So for the fact that we believe that the election ahead of 2023, I cannot be, be, be grandstanding and say, oh, we are going to win. We're going to appeal to voters. What are we appealing to voters for? And that's where I'm coming from. It's based on the 80 page document, the, the, the renewed hope of what Ashwaj is bringing on the table that's going to better our life. Shifting power from the north to the south is very important at this critical point in time. We know how Peter Obi came about. You have Peter Obi was the vice president of Atiku Abibaka, meaning there must have been some political machinations in between the line and the politics that we are running on. We know. That the game plan, yes, we understand the 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 the, the general opinion of some um 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 outside what Fulani do you within think the northern zone. The general zone acceptability of, Muslim, of the Tinubu Muslim, and uh, his running mate's ticket is across the country. There is not going to be. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't want you to as speak as, as I don't want you to speak as president of the Yoruba Council. I want you to speak as a lawyer <laughs> and a Nigerian. How acceptable well, well, do you think well, this well, ticket well, is? Well, listen to me clearly, and you have no my opinion. I'm not a, I'm not too sensational or emotional about whatever I'm saying. You know my position. Whenever I'm into any program or any other issues, I try to be very, very neutral and um, objective. But on this opinion, we are only looking at how can we heal a nation. We are not trying to look at how much of Christian Muslim war. What Baba Chelawa is promoting is a very dangerous methodology of politics. If you have to look critically, what kind of foundation, we've never been too religiously opinionated on our political um, uh, 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 yastic or how we'll try to draw up our political uh, pathfinding opinion. Okay. But for the fact that what Babache Lawal is happening on is of personal vendetta and hatred for okay. not being able to cling to one or two, we are all aware. Sincerely, if you have been following my our own view as the president of Yoruba Council Worldwide, all our press statement, even earlier before now, was a promotion of a Muslim Christian ticket. I can admit that to anybody because it shows our natural love for every other okay. uh, 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 um, religion. But okay. for the fact that political calculation of article coming from the North, being a Musa Fulani, and how do we really balance to get in road to that extent? It's for us to balance that political value. And okay. I believe from that opinion, we cannot overemphasize the importance of winning. But I wouldn't want the Christian community to now look at it from the point of aggressive vendetta or trying to retaliate over non issues. Because the assurance right. I know from Lagos State, he has shown high level of respect. No religious house will tell you that they have been locked down for once or they have been a, a, a ban on an Islamic or an, a, a Christian faith. All the Christian religious leaders find Lagos, even Southwest, as a home. 
All and right. Yoruba people, for who you know us to be, we are not this dangerously uh, uh, immersed we have in to go. religious animals. We have to go, so, unfortunately, Dr. We have to go. I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, we have to go. Um, Ola Dr. Hassan is the global president of Yoruba Council Worldwide. We thank you so much for being here. Unfortunately, time is not our friend. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that's it on the show tonight. But before I go, I would like to give you my take. Here's my take. Now, there are many ways to recognize a functional democracy. Unfortunately, when we speak of the Nigerian model, it fails to, you know, spectacularly in every unit, um, you know, address it. Even talking or taking into consideration the emotionally charged arena of politics, you realize that asking why our elected officials can't seem to solve our problems isn't a question worth asking. It's obvious by now that so many of our officials actively work against our interests. One standard by which to judge our democracy is the acceptance of results of an election uh, and the unimpeded transfer of power. Uh, in an ideal world, you know, we would have the cooperation of the incumbent team of aides and the transition team of the you know, incoming government officials to familiarize the latter with the inner workings of the office. But instead, what we see here um, is the outgoing governor or, or, you know, uh, trying to go on an employment drive for high-ranking of, of officers or offices to saddle the new governor with problems before he even takes you know, over the government. And it makes me really wonder, what kind of democracy are we actually operating in this country? Well, that's my take. I'm Mary Anakon. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening.